Hello, and welcome to HD Movie Maker Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the basic steps of how to work with the soundtrack editor in HD Movie Maker. After adding photos and videos to your project, you may want to add some background music or do a voiceover. HD Movie Maker supports these features using the soundtrack editor. To open the soundtrack editor, click on Edit Soundtrack on the Project toolbar. One thing to note, you can only open the soundtrack editor when there is at least one clip in the project timeline. It can be a video clip, a photo clip, a title, or a credit. If the video track is empty, the Edit Soundtrack button will be disabled. It is also recommended to work with your soundtrack after you finish working with the video track so that you can avoid adjusting the soundtrack every time a change is made in the video track. After opening the soundtrack editor, the interface should look like this. The top area is the video track. Its content consists of a list of clips and the preview area. The clips will be in their simplified form, meaning only the contents of the video clip will be shown without effects such as transitions or enhancements. However, the speed and the length of the video track will be rendered precisely, so you can sync the time between the video track and the soundtrack. Select a photo. Photo duration will display on the preview area Users can change photo duration right here if they want to, to sync the photo with the soundtrack content. Select a video clip. Video clip volume will display on the preview area. Users can change the volume of the selected video clip or mute the event if it is necessary. The middle part is the contents of the soundtrack. Every project will have two audio tracks, one for music and one for voice. The editing function for both tracks are identical, except the recording function from the PC microphone of the voice track. On the audio track, there are two types of cursors, the triangle and round. The triangle cursor is for setting current position for audio editing, and the round cursor is for making selections. The bottom part of the soundtrack is a toolbar, which includes back to go back to the project page, insert music, to add music to the music track, voiceover to add or record a voice of a clip to the voice track, effects which consists of adjusting the volume, fade in and fade out effects. Delay allows you to add delay time at the current position of the cursor. Trim is to delete the selected audio. Clear track to clear the soundtrack content or the audio music track. Undo to undo the latest action. Play, stop to preview the project soundtrack. Zoom in and zoom out to change the time scale displaying on the soundtrack. Now let's start with adding music and voiceover. First, set or drag the triangle cursor to the position you want to add music. Then press insert music. It can be one of the built-in music tracks or your own music file. Adding voiceover is similar. Just set or drag the triangle to the appropriate position. Then press voiceover and choose to add a pre-recorded voice clip or to record a new voice clip. This is a voice test, test, test. This is a test. After the content of the audio track is added, you can do some basic cursor manipulation and audio selection. Let's click on an audio track to make it active. Notice the other audio track will change to inactive. Click on the area above the video checklist. To set the triangle cursor position, you can also drag it to a new position. Drag the round cursor to make a selection. Click on the video clip to make a selection on the active audio track. It will correspond to the time and duration of the video clip. If you want to make precise selection, you can zoom in or out 
using the display time scale by pressing the zoom in or zoom out buttons. After making a selection, you can access the editing features. To change the volume of the selected audio segment, press the effects volume and drag the slider. Press the effects button to add fade in or fade out effect to the selected audio segment. Let's select effects fade in for fading effects and fade out for fade out effects. To delete the selected segment, simply select Trim. You can add a silence to the current position by selecting Delay. You can adjust the duration of the silence by dragging the round circle cursor or enter the time in the pop-up dialog. When you're done, select OK to apply changes. This is extremely helpful if you want to move your current audio track forward in time. If you accidentally make an unwanted change, just select Undo to go back while working with the soundtrack. Whenever you want to preview the video with the soundtrack, just press the play button. And if you want to delete an audio track or the whole soundtrack content, use the clear soundtrack option. Please note that after this operation, you will not be able to undo this change. Click the back button, go to the settings to sync your recordings. This option is important if your soundtrack contains content such as voice narration or sound effects that may be synchronized with video content. But if you simply want to add music background to your video and synchronization is not important, you can leave this option unchecked. Thank you for watching HD Movie Maker Tutorials.